Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. Oh, thank you for joining us this minute. Thank you for coming to service. Hallelujah. The Lord is faithful. The Lord is good. Thank you for coming. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. What a day. What a time to be alive. What a time to be alive. The Lord God has made us. The Bible says he made all things beautiful. Hallelujah. He made all things beautiful. Glory to God. I'm quite excited this morning being Mother's Day. Hallelujah. Is someone out there excited? Glory, glory. Yeah, yeah. Glory to God. Oh, I remember back in the days, the song that would say, God made me a woman. I am happy to be one. <laughs> Hallelujah. He made us women. He made us people of God. He made us he made us beautiful, wonderful, and beautifully made. Hallelujah. For a purpose. Hallelujah. And always when we think about ourselves, when we think about our role, when we think about the purpose God called us, let us not always forget the purpose of everything. Everything has a purpose. This has a purpose. Everything has a purpose. Hallelujah. And the purpose of that particular thing ought to be used for it. For the purpose of which it is been made for. It's made for. If a pen is meant to be used in writing, that should be the purpose of the pen. Hallelujah. The Lord God, uh, he made us beautiful. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I worship him, Lord. I worship this God who has made us who we are. Hallelujah. Who has made us who, who created the universe. And he made you. And today you are alive to experience today. No matter what is going on around the world. Never be cast down. The fact that you are alive has a reason. And that reason why we are alive will make good use of it. Hallelujah. We praise you, Jesus. Let's just give him praise. Oh, we praise you, Jesus. Oh, we praise you, we praise you, we praise you. Oh, we praise you, Jesus. Oh, we praise you, Jesus. We praise you, we praise you, we praise you. We praise you, Jesus. Yes, we praise you, Jesus. We praise you, we praise you, we praise you. We praise you, Jesus, for being who we are. Today being Mother's Day, you made us women. Hallelujah. <laughs> Happy Mother's Day to you. Ah, the Lord is faithful. And when we used to sing this song, Lord made me a woman. I am happy to be called. I'm happy to be called a woman. When you was much younger, you probably don't understand the full meaning of it. But as you grow older in all things, you begin to understand the important, what it means to be a woman. The joy, the pain. <laughs> They are all for a purpose. Hallelujah. He made us beautiful. He made us beautiful. And we as women, sometimes we, we go through difficult times, trial times, because we are women. Just for that. For being a woman. <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> Hallelujah. But like they say experience is the best teacher so if you're not a woman you might not be able to understand it all but we know that the holy spirit is the best teacher and it can give uh even understanding to those who are not women to know the 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 the, the, the pain and the joy of being a mother of being a woman hallelujah 
See, when they talk about mothers, they some people think you have to have had children to to be associated as part of to, to take part in Mother's Day celebration. You have to be a mother first. No, you don't. You don't have to be a mother first. You don't have to literally have given birth to a child to be a mother. If you are in that age of a, a mod of motherhood, you can be mothers to uh, literally anyone. You don't have to be. Uh, um, uh, you don't have to give birth to a child to nurture children to nurture a child, and that's one thing that we need to 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 come out of. Come out of it. We don't have to be a mother to someone before we can nurture such a person before we can reach out to such a person hallelujah the lord god has made us a woman woman women it is in us to be kind to be loving this morning my dear husband was asking me what it means to be a woman so i said it is to be love loving and kind <laughs> what it means to be a mother what it means to be a mother, he did ask me. I said, this, he said, I said it, it is to be loving and kind. That's the first thing that came up, that popped into my head. To be loving and kind. Do, we, do, do, you, do you agree with me? Loving and kind. Because inside us, we, want, we have that caring attributes in us. And we should, we, we should extend this, not just to only our children and those that we give birth to or, and, or those, but we should extend it wide, make good use of it. You see, like in the Bible, our Lord God has great sense of humor. As, and no wonder you do have sense of humor yourself because he made it and he has great sense of humor too. The Bible says, it is not good for a man to be alone. He said, it is not good for a man to be alone. I will make him a half meat. And that's how a woman came to, to be. The Lord God created the heaven and earth. He created man in his own image. And man was to tend and look after the things that God had created. But the Lord God said, mm, it is not good for a man to be alone. Hallelujah. So that's our number one purpose. The Lord God created us for the man. <laughs> for the man. Hallelujah. So that the man will not be alone. In all that the Lord has given to them to do, the woman will be there. Just imagine the, a world without women. <laughs> boring right world without women in it first there won't be any reproduction right imagine the world without women we are wonderfully fearfully made the Lord had taught about us sometimes when we think about how our God is how loving it is Because when we say, when I say to you, or you say to me that the Lord God loves you much more than you can ever think about. This is it. The man didn't even know that he needed a woman in his life. He didn't even know. Turn on the light, please. The man didn't even know that he needed a woman in his life. He didn't even know. That there's need, that there's something lacking in him. He didn't even know that. He just went about the business, the things that the Lord God has asked him to do. He went about them. But the Lord God knew that it is not good for the man to be alone. You see? So there are aspects, there are things in your life 
the, the, in, in the things that you do, in the things that you come across, in things, the challenges that come to you. And you might be thinking, God, help me. God, save me. I want you to know this morning that the Lord God, he knows. Just like he said, it is not good for the man to be alone. Hence what he made him and help mate for him. He made and help for him. So also he sees our challenges. He sees our pains. He sees our tears. He sees all that happens around us. And he knows exactly what we need. Imagine the one that knows the number of, of the strand of hair in, on our head. Of which if you ask, if, I'm, if you ask me to count this even, which is kind of a bit easy, it is difficult for me to do it. I can't. But the very strand of hair on your head, the Lord God knows it. He knows what you want more than your very self. <laughs> oh, Father, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you for making us who we are. For making us who we are. Just begin to thank the Lord. Oh, begin to think about yourself. Begin to think about all the loveliness of God in your life. All his kindness, all his beauty, all his excellence. Look around you. There's someone who envies you. Even though you think your life is, is not worth it. But look around you. There are people who envy that life that you've got. It's enough to give God praise for. It's enough to give God praise for. I remember growing up back then in, in elementary school. And uh, some people say, oh, please, let's give me this. I'll give you this. Oh, why am I so short? Oh, I'm not so tall. And it bothers them. And then I'll be thinking, oh, I wish I can just give you some height. <laughs> because it bothered me being tall. <laughs> oh, my dear sister and brother. The Lord God knows exactly what we needed in our lives. He knows our frame. He knows our frame. He knows our pains. He knows our joys. He knows that which will give us ultimate satisfaction complete satisfaction oh just praise him i will worship this god forever i will worship him every day i will worship this god forever I will worship him every day. I will worship this God forever. I will worship him every day. I will worship this God forever. I will worship him every day. I will worship this God forever. Is that a song in your spirit? That you will worship this God forever. I will worship him every day. I will worship this God forever. I will worship him every day. For all that he has done for us. For making you whom you are. For making you a woman. For making you a man. I worship this God. For creating you. For loving you. For knowing your needs. And meeting them. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh Lord we worship your name. Amen. We worship your name. Oh Taladada. We praise your name. Hallelujah. Jehovah Almighty. We praise you Lord. We praise you, Lord. We praise you, Lord. Uh, let the praise never depart from your heart. Let praises never depart from your heart. Let it never depart from your heart. 
Oh, if there's no praise, begin to fire the praise in your heart and begin to bring it forth in your mouth. Begin to sing songs of praise, joyful songs, giving God glory, giving praise. Oh, we worship this God forever. Is that your song? That you will worship this God forever. We have good life. Yes, you have good life. Oh, my brother, you have good life. My sister, you have good life. <coughs> yes, because the monarch of the universe is your papa. It's your papa, it's your daddy, it's your father. Oh, be happy and joyful in all that the Lord has made you to be. Oh, I am happy that I'm a woman. He made me a place. He put me in a place in which I can help. I can render help. Oh, today let us pray for all women all around the world. Happy Mother's Day to you, my sister. Happy Mother's Day to our mothers. Happy Mother's Day. Kados kere boko shandara baba. Oh, boko shandara baba baba. Oh, Lord made me. Bashatara boko shandara bosantaria. Let us pray for all the women all around the world. That soon they say kere. That the purpose of God creating them, making them a woman, will not elude them. The suta the suta. The Lord make you, made you a woman, sister, for a purpose. You don't even need to wait to have children before you start walking in that purpose. You don't need to have children yet before you walk in that purpose. Sound the super. Wisdom. Yes, Wisdom for us to exhibit our office. Begin to pray for wisdom. To begin to walk in that purpose. Wisdom of God. Wisdom of God. And by all means, Holy Spirit. We need you to teach our heart. We need you, we need you to help us start to say, Oh, call on him by the Kojereba. We need him to help us. Oh, the Bokosheke Boson Dereba. Likos Konda the Bohoske Rebosa. To lead the life he has called us to live. To lead that life he has called us to live. To walk in that purpose he has called us for. Yandorobo Zikaraba. Lord, we need your wisdom. Lord, we need your help. Lord, we need your grace. Go so baraboshika mosontalia. My dear sister, never walk out of your purpose because of what you have seen, because of the experience that you've received, either from other people, either from your husband or your children, or any other pet person. Don't let them change your purpose. Because your purpose was what God created you for. That purpose for you to achieve, for you to walk in it. But sometimes, situations and circumstances and all the humans and all the men, men and women, they make you want to change. They make you want to fall short of that purpose. Don't let that happen to you. Don't let somebody else's ways of Living ways of doing things, offense causing offense. Don't make them change you, change you. You are a woman, 
Koskera bozontara bashota. Lido skonde rebo shandari. Oh, you are doing a good work. You are doing a good job. Oh, bashandara da basontari ya. Do you know you will be told well done for this? Because it's, it's a job that the Lord God created you for. You will be told well done for it. As you go about doing your job, as you go about doing that which you have been called to do as a woman, know fully well that you are going to be told well done for it. Because it's a job that the Lord God carved out for you, specially for you as a woman. <laughs> Imagine knowing that you're going to work and you're going to be get paid for that job. Yeah? Yeah, you want to do it so that the one who has given you the job will be satisfied. So when we go about doing our, playing our role as women, as we go about our role as women, as mothers, as sisters, oh, you can always ask the Lord for help. You can always ask the Lord for grace. You can always ask the Lord to open your eyes so you can be enlightened in the way to go about it because a thank you is awaiting you if you've done it right yes yes I want us to stand against everything that has hindered you and it's in the other women that has hindered them that have stopped them from walking in that purpose let us begin to stand against them everything that has hindered them from standing and walking in that purpose of which God has created them to walk in let them take their rightful place run to Kosoki Bala Koshi Kadia Oh, grace, grace from heaven above. Grace that no man can give to you. Go zika more boko shika baro bobo. Lindo ko shika bosonta la boko sha. Oska da da bosonte re boshantaria. Grace to do your will, O God. Grace to walk in the purpose of God. Grace borosoke ma shikaria. Liko sote ri baba baba. Let no man cause us offense to make us not to walk in the purpose in which you created us. Let no man stop us from achieving that purpose. And Lord, we pray that we, we, we wouldn't stop ourselves, Lord. Litos kema koshataria, oh the sun tere baka shotaria, e the sun tere bosantaria. My dear sister, I just want to admonish you in all that you do. I don't want you to begin to look at what the man hasn't done. If there's a man in your life, don't look at it and say, oh, he hasn't done this, he hasn't done that. He hasn't done that. He hasn't done that. But focus on you. Focus on you. Focus on you. What I mean by that? Focus on the purpose, your own purpose. Are you achieving it? Because if you start looking at what he hasn't done, it will hinder you from what you are supposed to do. It will hinder you from achieving your purpose. Karo Sembo Rekusha. So therefore, you must overlook things. There are times to talk, but there are too many times to be quiet. And allow God. He is the one who, who, who created you. He is the one who has put you where you are. Even if you think you put yourself there, it's your God and he can help you. He will help you. All you need to do is to call on him and to align yourself with him. Align yourself with him. <laughs> 
and recognize your place. Recognize your place and take your place and pick up your role. I need grace, I need help, I need grace, I need help. Do not the magnitude of the, the job that the Lord has given to you. You think your husband's job is so hard. Oh, Zeke Makatalia. You know the magnitude of, of the role that the Lord has placed you. Begin to think about it. Because it's only if you have the full picture of the role, if you have the job description known to you, and it's found in the Bible. If you know the job description, we will begin to act differently sometimes. Knowing who has called us into this role, you didn't create yourself, you didn't make yourself a woman. Oh, you showed up. A baby girl. A baby girl showed up. You, you didn't make yourself. A lot of people they've tried. And they'll say, oh, I want a girl. And they'll try so hard. Say, I want a girl. I want to have a girl. I want to have a baby girl. But if the Lord has not destined you to have a baby girl at that particular time, no matter what you do, we know you never, it will never come. So you're showing up as a woman. Which no man can do. Which no science has been able to do. They've tried. Yerusante kosuka woshantaria. Rika mosotaria. That shows that there's a definite purpose for you, for me. Definite purpose for you and for me. Keri bo 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 bo. And we know that Satan will always want to to change the order of things to change the order of things we're not going to allow him tell yourself I'm going to take my place I'm going to take my role and I'm going to do it diligently pleasing the Lord who has made me a woman who has given me this job that no man can give to you, no science, no one can give to you. It's the Lord, and you are accountable to Him. I am accountable to Him. If we begin to see the role from that perspective, because there will be so much peace in this world in general. There will be so much peace. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. We worship your name. We thank you for all our women. We thank you for all our sisters. We thank you for all our mothers. They receive strength, oh God, for this role that you've given to them. They receive strength to carry it out. They receive strength to walk in it. Oh, Mother Shekala Moshita. They receive strength. And no weapon of darkness formed against them, making them want to change their role, making them not to fulfill their purpose, Lord. We stand against them in the name of Jesus. Karo Zeke Medeku Sopra. La 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 bonte de deboko shala. Gos kele bas. Le son de deba. And we take our place. We take our place. We take our place. Kashoke masun te deba. And from today, I want you to think about it. If you know for any reason you've not been 
walking in your purpose. You've not been walking in this road the way you ought to and you know it. If for any reason you know it, I just want you to begin to ask the Lord to have mercy on you and to help you. And begin to ask the Holy Spirit for help and support every day, every day, every time, every moment. Even for before you open your mouth, let's begin to ask the Lord and say, Lord, help me. Before I open my mouth to speak, help me. Before I do that thing that I want to do, help me. Kalosh Kelo Supram Toriya. This so kiri. I know we mean well all the time. The skere was shallow was sent up. Greco se kamushi kalia. Boshe telia was santalia. Dasko bado sent a raboko shanta. Keso teria was shikalia. Keso karia was sent up. And we pray, oh God, I pray for all the women out there. There are many that are going through one difficult challenges or the other as a result of being a woman. Lord God, that you will help them. As many going through some pain. Pain in their bodies. That is associated to being a woman. That pain is because you are a woman. You just have that pain. Pain in your stomach. Pain in your body, pain in your breast. Kasoke bo soke makuta de bodo skentori. Pain in your head. Kosko shakali bo. Li sokamo shika da sonteria. The Lord, you will help them in the name of the Lord Jesus. Kasando so para do skentoro. Di sonteria bo shantaria. As many that are going to menopause. Di sonteri ko shali ko senteria. Lord, I thank you, O oh God, because you will help them. De jonge no bo soke ri baba shataria. Ye sonte ri ba shantaria. That your peace that passes human understanding with garrison. They are so in the name of the Lord Jesus. Oh, glory to your name, O oh God. We worship you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Hallelujah. Oh, we bless you, Lord. Oh. Blessed be the name of the Lord. He is worthy to be praised and adored. So we lift up holy hands in one accord. See. Shantaria, 
They will enjoy their old age. Kasonteleba. Strong, be strong. They will enjoy their old age. You will enjoy your old age. Kalosonteleba. From the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. Kalosonteleba koshalia. Every pain be gone. Oh, the blood of Jesus. of memory. There are memories are intact in the name of Jesus. Oh, thank you, mighty God. We'll bless your name, oh God. And let's pray for our young sisters. As many are young sisters that desire to be married, that desire to be married. And as many of our, our sisters that desire to have children. They could scan a soon nether bacoshinta. Latipa in score of Boshite is kente. Latikin noskile madoski dalia. Yerebo jalaka baba, you are unstoppable, sister. You cannot be stopped, Lako Senta. If the Lord has destined you to have children, you cannot be stopped. Lando Koskendalia. If the Lord has destined you to be married, you cannot be stopped. Everything that has stopped you in the name of the Lord Jesus, they'll begin to lie and align up with the purpose of God in for your life. They'll begin to walk for your purpose. Let purpose begin to speak. The purpose of God in your life, let it begin to show up, begin to speak up right now in the name of the Lord Jesus. And every foundation of darkness. That has held you down, because you've broken free, being in Christ Jesus. The Bible says, Whom the Son of Man has made free is free indeed. Hallelujah! You are free indeed from every stronghold. You are free indeed. You are from every stronghold. From every spirit that says you will never have children, you are free from their bondage. From every power that says you will, you will not get married. Every spirit, every spirit that is stopping you. In the name of Jesus, I put a stop to it. You're walking in God's purpose for your life. Every spirit man that is standing to say, no, 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 you cannot, you cannot stand that for that sister, she's a child of God now. You can't take her away from purpose. You can't take her away from the will of God concerning her life. Rombo go shikabo, limbo do bobo, freedom for whom the Son of Man has made free. It's free indeed. You've been made free. You are free. Rejoice in your freedom. Rejoice in that which the Lord has done for you. What the Lord has done for you, rejoice in it. And walk in that freedom. Don't let anything stop you. Walk in that freedom. That's why you need the word of God in your spirit. You need the word of God in your life. You need the word of God. Oh, so you don't walk in the unknown. The Bible says true wisdom shall just be made free, set free, free. True wisdom, wisdom, the word of God, the knowledge of God's word, true knowledge, true knowledge, not just every other knowledge, but through the knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ, through the knowledge of what he has done for you, through the knowledge of whom he has called you to be. So if there's a spirit man that says, oh, you are my spirit wife, you say, no, I'm a child of God now. That was in the past when I didn't know the Lord Jesus Christ. If 
there's a spirit man that says you will never have children here on earth because you are my wife say no 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 i am not your wife the lord jesus christ paid the price for me and i belong to him now i belong to jesus now and you have no place in me you have no hold on me you have no place or if it's a demon that says, oh, you are my slave, because of that you cannot move forward to have to, to get married or to have children because you belong to them. Say, no, I don't belong to you. I was bought with a price. I've been bought with a price. You must declare your victory at all times because challenges will come. And these things that you've, the Lord has saved you from, they will present themselves. They will keep calling. Keep challenging your faith. Keep calling. Keep saying you belong to me. No, say no, I don't belong to you, Satan. I belong to the one who has washed me with the blood of Jesus Christ. The blood he shed on the cross for me, for my salvation, for my victory. God, that was so terrible, Santaria. That is why you need the word of God. That is why you need a good relationship with the Holy Spirit. That is why you need him. So when these other voices, they keep calling, they come calling, they will call. Yes, they will call. When they keep calling, when they come calling, you know how to declare your victory. You know how to stand your feet and say, I belong to Jesus. I belong to Jesus. You stay, I belong to Jesus. And you know that you belong to Jesus. You speak the word. You speak the word. You speak the word. Hallelujah. Blessed be your name, Lord. Carlos Father, Lord God, to our sisters, to our sisters who desire to get married today in the name of the Lord Jesus, for the freedom of which you have given to them, Lord God, let that happen for them. Thank you, Father. We bless your name. Hallelujah. Glory to your name. And for those marriages that are going through tough times. And you, dear sister, you need to do all you need to do to work it out. By taking your place that will help you. Taking your place. Picking up your role that the Lord God has given to you. And try to work in it diligently as in pleasing the Lord. So even when the man seems like he's not pleased, even when your children or those around you seem like they are not pleased, don't worry about it. Be accountable to him who has given you the role. And he's the one that sees when no man can, when, when a man didn't see anything, he's the one that sees all things. He's the one that knows all things. The thoughts, your very thoughts, and sees what you're doing. So no matter what, if man, if your husband seems like he's not pleased with your role, with what you are doing, don't, don't, don't be worried about it. Don't worry yourself about it. Don't bother yourself about it. Just go about that which the Lord has given to you to do. And walk in it to please the Lord. Because he called you into that office. He called you into that role. Walk in it diligently to please him. To please him. Thank you, Jesus. We bless your name, O oh God. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. What a wonderful day. We're going to have a little bit of classic. Not a little bit. It's a classic. Classic. And my dear husband, my dear husband, Apostle Joseph, is going to share a little bit with us on the Mother's Day. It's going to be classic, I think. Classic. <laughs> you know? Because we women, they think we are so... Uh, we, we, we want to, like... Um, we want to... Um, you know, um, how do I put it now? We, we want to, our role, we want to like elevate our role. We want to like tell the importance of our role. So today on a day like this, I think if it's, something is coming from a man, 
You know, it would be so nice to hear from a man, hallelujah, about this, this classic role that the Lord has given to us. Glory to God, hallelujah. So stay tuned, my dear sister. Don't go away. Stay tuned, my brother. You will be blessed by this. Stay tuned as we hear from our dear brother, Apostle Joseph. Amen. Come through, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We'll turn off this minute and start all over again. Yeah, for the purpose of this broadcast. Hallelujah. Stay tuned.